In this case, we are going to see how to obtain the reference of a game object that is a child of another game object. In this particular case, the parent game object has the script assigned. In the previous video, we talked about these variables, game object and transform, first letter in lowercase, where they come from, and we saw that game object refers to the game object this script itself is assigned to, and transform refers to the transform component of that game object. So, to be able to access the children of game objects, we have to work with the transform component. We are going to use the getChild method that is inside the transform class. Here, as we see, it returns another transform component. It needs an index as parameter, and in the description, it tells us that it returns the transform of the child with that index. The children of game objects start to be counted from zero, and in this case, we have only one child. So we write zero in the function. So all this instruction will return the transform component of this game object. As we are interested in the game object itself, using the dot operator, we access to the game object field in lowercase. Then all this will result in this game object. Now we assign it in this field, and with that we would achieve the result we want. Here, when entering the game mode, we see that this variable is pointing to this object. This, of course, can be combined with all the previous methods and the methods that will come. Here, instead of using the transformation of the game object to which this script is assigned, we could use the transformation of any game object we want. 